Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 118 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, um, news reporter Jack, he, uh, interrupted the episode. And in this episode, we are going to try to catch some new creatures, as always. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've been doing since, like, since the beginning of July. That's basically all we've been doing. Doing. Anyway, today's birthday is Bree. Yeah, a really cute mouse. Anyway, uh, let's uh, start. Yeah, I have the list of all the things I am missing here. And it's pro um, yeah, but, uh, we're doing it uh, too early to get all the big beetles, sadly. But it is um, late enough so I can get, like, mantis shrimp and abalones and all those sort of crazy stuff. Hello there, everyone! Right now on Jack Town, it's 4.48 p.m. on Tuesday, July 7th, 2020. As you can see, the hour is about to change. I mean, like, it's gonna change soon, so... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, because, like, at 5, the big beetles come out, so we can still look for them. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, but... Oh! I looked up my horoscope for the day, and it said I'm going to have good luck! Good job, Isabel. Uh, oh dear. I guess it doesn't really qualify as news, does it? That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Bye, Isabel. Oh, no. Uh, I seem to have misplaced my pen. It's probably under here like it always is. Yeah, yeah. every time I mis I misplace my pen, it's usually in an obvious spot. Anyway. um, First, uh, yesterday CJ came, and if you're not caught up, um, I'm trying to get every single model, and I leave out, um, uh, bugs and, slash fish, so, uh, mom and assistant can get me more models. So, yeah, assistant got me a Dorado model. Oh, look at those clean pockets. Yeah, Dorado model, cool, and, uh, 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 Mom got me a... Oh, not Dorado. Uh, got me a... Ribbon Eel model. Ooh, so cool. Anyway, let's check the mail. Oh, by the way, why they're... S like, usually they're not sitting there. Usually they're in the mail. But the reason they're not in the mail this time is because Assistant had too little money to send a letter. So I thought it would just be easy. Er. Anyway, Gonzo. Um... Uh, I can just imagine his voice now. Hey, chum. I was just walking around the other day thinking about nothing in particular when I suddenly thought of you. Not sure why, but I thought I'd better send you a quick note in case you felt like writing back. Hope to hear back. Gonzo. Okay, that's a really nice, uh, paper. Anyway, uh, here's CJ. And, uh, the model I got just so happens to be a... Whale shark model. And look at how big that one is. Wow. Anyway, let's let's put them in my storage. And then we'll go hunting. Oh yeah, while I'm uh uh in the house, I better check the song. Well, I don't need to be in the house to check the song, but I'm just gonna do it. Anyway. KK Island, that's new! Place order. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's put our models inside uh, the storage. Whale shark models probably is like the last in alphabetical order. Pro no, no, I mean like last that I have. We have, there is going to be like a zebra turkey fish model. Because like there is a zebra turkey fish. Anyway, um, here are all the models uh, of the bug, uh, I mean of the fish. Look at that. Coelacanth, crawfish, dab, dorado, loach, oarfish, ribbon eel, suckerfish, snail, Rosalina batassi beetle, mole cricket, hermit crab, great purple emperor, whale shark, and tilapia. And there are also like two grand ones. The Queen Alexander's birdwing and the uh, 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 banded dragonfly. Yeah. So yeah, I have a lot of models. Anyway. Now, uh, let's go swimming. Oh yeah, yesterday I watered my flowers, like, for the first time in a long time, so hopefully 
There's something cool there. Ooh, after five, we could find a, uh, oh, there's label. We could, uh, I mean, uh, what I'm trying to, oh, a uh, black rose. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, not after five, we can find a uh, stick insect. Anyway, wait, oh, wait, what? Two golden roses? Two in one day? Like, I've, this is, this. Wow! And a blue, um, whatever it's called. And this. Oh, right. That one's a conveniently in perfect spot, but uh, this one isn't. So let's move it. And then we can, oh, I didn't mean to dig a hole there, whatever. Let's uh, plant this. Anyway, let's let's dig up our golden roses and put them where I was gonna put them. Where I was gonna put? No, I'm pretty sure that's only like one golden rose missing from everything I wanted to use them with. <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to do with them is. Uh, this area behind here, I wanted to alternate between golden roses and uh, uh, lily of the valleys. I got all the lily of the valleys, but I don't have all the golden roses. But now I'm only missing one. Like it went from having none to, to two. Okay. Gold rose buds. Wow, this is gonna look good. Like all the fancy flowers back here. Then, uh, boom and boom. Yeah, I cleaned out all my pockets so I could, uh, carry more stuff. And that's very useful when you go diving, because, like, oh, it's just so annoying when you go diving and, like, you don't have any pocket room after, like, a second of diving. Oh, man, that is annoying, but... I fixed that problem by clearing out all my pockets. Okay, there is everything. Now let's place down the flowers in a random spot, and then we can go, um, and, like, like here, like, well, like, this area is still a work in progress. Anyway, I like, um, uh, now we can go, uh, hunting for new finds. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bad wording. Anyway, let's start off in the ocean. Usually when I start off in the ocean, I can't, I'm not able to leave. Oh, I did a, I did a front flip. Usually I'm not able to leave the ocean, so this might be a bad option. Like, the reason is because it's so fun. So yeah, this might be, oh, there's a shark over there, but first I need to catch this, because it's here. Anyway. Oh, there's my otter. See my otter. Please don't scare away the shark otter. Anyway, uh... You can just have it, just have it, just have it. Since you're cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Via this. Eyeballs are like windows so your brain can look outside. And your brain needs that sunshine, man. Okay. Consider yourself truth. Yep, today is a good day. I really want to catch that shark because it could be another no uh, one of those non-shark sharks. I did want to catch it one on screen, so you got to see it. There is a diving creature, but the shark is at risk of going away. I don't think diving creatures can go away, at least without like a little like leaving the water or something like that. I mean, going far away from the water. Oh, it's a saw shark. Cool, I'm pretty sure um, I only need now uh, one more before I can get a saw shark model. Anyway, what are you? Come to Papa. Spotted garden eel. 
it's a really wiggly thing. Anyway. Ooh, that has a lot of bubbles. That could be something rare. Yeah, it's not moving at all. It's not rare. Yeah, but I'm still gonna catch it anyway. Just because. What if it just wasn't moving and it was still rare? Ooh, there's another thing. Oh, it's moving. That's moving. Could be something cool. It's a moon jellyfish. Cool, but not new. Anyway, everything I'm missing in the water it are as follows. Abalone, giant isopod, gigas giant clam, horseshoe crab, and mantis shrimp. Abalone and mantis shrimp are the two I'm, like, really going after today. Because, like, they're not, apparently they're not too rare. And I haven't got them yet. Well, duh, I haven't got them yet, but... Yeah. Whatever. Oh, that's moving away. That could be the mantis shrimp, I think. I think this could be the mantis shrimp. I think this is the mantis shrimp, actually. Yep, mantis shrimp -a -rooney. Look at that thing. Got a mantis shrimp. Shrimply amazing. Um, yeah. Coolio. I got a Nook Miles achievement. Is it, oh, it's not even up there. Ooh, that's my 20th type of diving creature. Cool, and uh, let's see in here. Wow, look at that. Like, mantis shrimp, I just, like, earlier today I did some research about the mantis shrimp. And they're, like, really cool. Anyway, I'm glad I caught that. A new creature already. That thing has a lot of bubbles, and I think abalones have a lot of bubbles. Oh, I think that might be an abalone. Or a... Wait, that's moving so fast! That might be a really rare thing. It might not be an abalone, but it might be a really rare thing. What is it? It's an abalone! So that's uh, both of the things I was going after. Um... Yeah, got an abalone. Um, <laughs> well, that was easy. Yeah, there it is. Um, so yeah, now all that's missing are the three rare things that I haven't gotten yet. The giant ice pod, the giga giant clam, and the horseshoe crab. I might be able to get the... I'm not sure about the giant ice pod right now. I, oh, wait, that has more bubbles, so it's probably more rare. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure if the isopod is catchable right now. I know the Gigas Giant Clam is, um, right now, but I don't know. I mean, I, but, and I know that the Horseshoe Crab is not around now. Oh, I forgot to check, uh, what sort of thing my otter left for me. Anyway. Yeah, let, let, let's see. Let's see. Let's let's go to shore to see actually Because there we can actually use it. Oh Oh, hey, hey horn dynastid Anyway Yeah, so yeah, that's uh, all common diving creatures. I'm pretty sure caught Oops, that's a that's a small fish. So I it's okay that I scared it away. Anyway. Any wave, you might say. Um, we have... Let, let, let's, let's place them to see what they look like. Because there are a lot of diving cre... I've heard that there's a lot of diving creatures that are out of the water. That are not in the tank and they just sit there. Anyway, it doesn't look like the abalone is one. Still pretty cool. And mantis shrimp. M maybe, but I don't think so. Yeah, there's the mantis shrimp, but... Whoa! It just cracked the tank! And the crack just went away! It just broke the tank! Oh, that is so cool! So, um, yeah, I'm, uh... I, I think I, I think I wanna... Not, wait, I, I got... Oh, there's an evening cicada! Oh, right, it changed to five, which means we can find the evening cicada. Wait, what did he leave me? Oh, he left me a pearl! Anyway, now we can find the evening cicada and the walking stick. 
So yeah, let's look out for the walking stick. Uh, but yeah, I want to see that again. Sorry, I can't get enough of that. Look at that, there's a crack in the tank. Wait, like, I think that's a bad position. Oh, that was a rare bug. That was a really rare bug. Oh well. Oh to the well, I say. Anyway, let's look. Let's look for. Well, I hope he doesn't do that in the museum. Like, I don't want him to break all the tanks in the museum. Anyway, uh. Now we can keep our eyes out for the. Walking stick. Because, uh. It's, it's time that it could be out. Wow, today is so far a good day. You know what? I'm going to place my donations down here like I always do. Man Manta Shrimp. Who can break his tank. I'm, I, I want to watch it again. Wow, look at that. Like, he actually breaks the tank. That is so interesting. And Abalone. Who is... He just sits there. Anyway, is there any... Is it, wait. No. Okay, so the walking stick I don't think is too rare, but still pretty rare. I think it's like a semi-rare guy. Oh, but the drone beetle is a not even rare at all guy. There's just two of them. Wait, oh, that's a cyclometer stag. It's rare, but it's not new. I'm gonna catch it anyway. There, cyclometer stag. Good catch, but not new. While we're here, let's look in the store. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, yeah, we're probably not gonna catch any more new uh, uh, diving creatures today because the only things are rare. And the only one I'm certain is out is the Gigas Giant Clam. All right, I don't wanna sell anything. Let's uh, see, anything really interesting? Nah, nothing really interesting. Nothing, nothing. I say nothing. Nothing interesting at all. Word. Anyway. Yo, where my sticky at? I need him a sticky insect. I'm in a sticky situation and I can't find a stick insect. Yeah, no stick insect over there. Yeah, so they could be on any tree. Palm trees, cedar trees, normal trees. Yeah, nothing there. Oh, I, I just, sorry guys, I just gotta see this again. Like, he breaks the tank, like, look at that. He just literally just, like, breaks it, and he no, he doesn't care, he's a mantis shrimp. Wait a second. No. I gotta look out for this guy, cause, um, he, he looks very much like a stick. So, yeah, he will blend in really well with all the trees. I don't think so as well on the palm trees, though. It would be cool if, like, he changed color, like if it was a different color stick insect, uh, if it was on a different type of tree. That would be cool. 
Whoa, Goliath Beetle. Well, that's three Goliath Beetles. Enough to get me a Goliath Beetle model. Wait, I shouldn't get cocky. I need to catch it. Like, the first Goliath Beetle was so hard. But ever since then, I've seen them as like a... A kind of rare occurrence. There! That is three Goliath Beetles. So now next time Flip comes here, I can give him a Goliath Beetle. I mean, I can get a Goliath Beetle model. Which is definitely really cool because it's one of the grand ones. Which means it's huge. Anyway, I know I have no chance of getting anything new in the ocean, but... Come on, like... No chance is still a chance at all. Wait, that was that was bad wording. What I'm trying to say is there's still a chance even though I have barely a chance. There, I was about to say turban shell because that's a future thing, but no, a whelk. Oh, wait, I didn't see. There's something over there. And it has a lot of bubbles, which means it could possibly be rare. It's huge. And it's not moving one bit. Ugh, sea wig! I hate, I hate the sea wig. It's like so annoying. It's not, it's not even called a sea wig, but I just call it that. More bubbles, like two bubbles. Sea grapes. I really don't like them. Like there are so many in, like there are very, like there, I don't know. Are there, I forgot that there are a lot of, yeah, there are a lot of annoying diving creatures, but there's a lot of uh, good ones too. Like it's less annoying if the creature looks cool, in my opinion. Like, for example, like, the Gazami Crab is common, but it's not, but it's not, like, boring, so it's cool. Anyway, it's not moving, I'm gonna catch it anyway, just because of seaweed. Okay. Oh, more bubbles. And more bubbles over there, too. That's a lot of bubbles. I'm hoping to catch another mantis shrimp because it it, it, it freaking breaks the tank. Like, how? why would you not want one of them in in uh, your house? Oh, that's a, well, that's a bad quality, but still. Oh, that might be another one. I mean, it's moving. I think this is another mantis shrimp. Yeah! <laughs> Another mantis shrimp. We have one as a pet now. Now we have a tank breaker for the downstairs aquarium. Muscle! So yeah, I think I did, I did a little more research about Pascal, and I think that thing about him only showing up right uh, once, I mean, was right. I think it might have been right. Anyway, that, that could be rare. Oh, it's moving fast. This could be something rare. This could be the Gigas. This might be the Gigas. You know? It's like moving in a U-turn, and I'm pretty sure that's what the Gigas does. Or it could be another abalone. Oh, nope. It's a slate pencil. I didn't know those moved like that. I thought they moved in like a normal way. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't have a lot of bubbles, so I'm gonna skip. You know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna skip it. Like, I don't want to end up missing something rare. Okay, it's moving slow. I'm guessing it's a sea star. Oh, nope. Spotted garden meal. You wouldn't expect a garden meal to go that slow. Because, I mean, like, they poke out in, in of the sand. Uh, I mean, poke in and out of the sand uh, so quickly. So I wouldn't expect it to be that slow. Anyway, there's another thing. Wait, but that thing's bigger. 
I gotta catch that first. Oh, it's moving fast. This might, I think it's an octopus. Oh, nope, it's Skellum. Yeah, I think, I think that thing was true. And I said it was like, not actual fact. Yeah, yeah, that, that, me saying it was not actual fact was not actual fact. Anyway, I wanna go into shore to see if there's any stick insects now. Or walking sticks, stick bugs, whatever you call them. There's a lot of names for them, and they're cool. There's also a golden stag, but I basically, like, I don't think I have any chance to catch that, because, like, it's so rare. And, of course, the cicada shell, but, again, it's so rare, probably not going to catch it. Oh, there's a, there's a emperor butterfly up there, but, yeah, that's not new. Anyway, I want to go back in the water. Like, the water is the most fun out of the three. Bug catching, fishing, and diving. Diving is the most fun for me. Oh, that's a big thing. If it mo if it moves really fast, then it could be rare. But it's not moving, so it's probably a sea wig, or that. <laughs> anyway, how? I, what do? Wow! I already have that much in my pockets. Sheesh! Ooh. So yeah, this is probably, yeah, it's another seaweed. Yeah, I don't like seaweed very much. Well, at least it's not uh, as, like, uh, common as some of the other stuff. Wait. Oh, it's, it's just one of my teddy bears on the beach. No need to, no need to worry. Just a teddy bear. Yeah, there's probably a sea slug, my guess. Oh, sea slug. I'm really good at this game. You couldn't already tell. Anyway. There are some trees up here. The trees that I want to check for. Oh, evening cicada, but no uh, stick insect. Where is the stick insect? Like he's not showing up. Wait, was that a big fish? No. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we we it doesn't look like we 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 don't have any uh stick insects right now. It's like a ninja. Can't find it. Can't see it anywhere. Even though it could possibly be everywhere. Oh yeah. Um I, uh, mom now has a shell reef. Cool. Shell reef? I said shell reef like coral reef. No. Shell reef. Woo! Aw, oh, I, didn't, I didn't do the flip. How did I do that front flip? That was so epic. Anyway. Wait a second. Oh, wait. first I gotta catch this. Hope it has sand. But it's not big enough to be anything cool, really. Sea star? Nope. Jellyfish. Well, jellyfish is cool, but it's not really rare. Anyway. I just wanted to check something. It's like the vampire squid. Yeah, you could catch it now! Like, that... That's... That's that's a little bad. I mean, like... what? Why now? Like... Catching it as day... At day wouldn't be a really like whoa feeling because it's like not as mysterious catching it at day oh 
I'm guessing it's a octopus. Oh, it's a scallop. Yeah, the otter's not coming. He ought to be off somewhere else. Wait, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. I gotta catch it. Don't be scared, fishy. Just gonna come over and catch you. Okay? Okay. Settled. It's settled then. I'll catch you. Ooh, there's a balloon over there, but... Uh, right now I wanna catch this fish. Cause it's... Cause it's huge. It's a huge old fish. Oh, I think this might be a Napoleon fish. Get off my pockets! Yeah. As uh, you pro you could probably if you if you couldn't already tell I, I really don't like sea bass. Welk, you're welcome for catching that welk. I know it. I know it was making a lot of people angry. So yeah, you're welcome. Okay, that's not big enough to be anything rare, but I'm gonna catch it anyway, just in case it's sea grapes. No, the no good, the less tasty grapes of the ocean. Actually, I've never had sea grapes, so I don't know if they're less tasty, but it's, it's, it seems legitimate <laughs> that they would be less tasty. I mean, like, fish poop in the water, and there's a lot of weird ocean creatures out there that do weird things like the like there's a something called a sea cucumber that like um i don't know what it does i'm pretty sure it like shoots out its organs out of its butt to attack predators oh i just i just i i see an opportunity for a stunt that i just noticed Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice that you can do that. Oh, but I can't, I can't, I can't get on the plane though. Oh well. Very well. Wait a second. I thought that was a cicada shell for a second. If that was a cicada shell, that would have been amazing. Woo! Anyway. There's something and it's moving. Moving quite a lot, in fact. And it is a spotted garden eel. There are also striped garden eels, but they're not in the game. Like in real life, there are striped garden eels. Sadly, they didn't make the cut. Even though I think the striped ones look better. I mean, they have more vibrant colors. The spotted one is just black and white. And uh, the other one is uh, orange and white. Okay, fast. Oh, 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 that's something big. And it's moving fast. It's probably an octopus or a scallop. That's my guess. Oh, it's an abalone. So yeah, we've caught two of the things I was looking for. I mean like two of each of the things I was looking for. Yeah, but no, no really rare stuff. The mantis shrimp might be rare, but I come on, I like caught uh gonna have to get rid of this whelk. Oh well. Oh whelk. Anyway. What was I gonna say? I don't know. Oh wait, that's that has a lot of bubbles. Gotta catch it. Oh I don't know what that is. It might be another abalone. Oh, 
It's a slate pencil urchin. Very pencil-y. I'm gonna swap it for some sleep grapes because I think they might be more valuable. Oh, there's something over there. I gotta catch it just in case it's something rare. Oh, it's moving away quite fast. Come on, come on. I think this might be another mantis shrimp, to be honest. Oh no, it's a poil ice. And I think poil ice are worth more than sea grapes. So I'm gonna get rid of my other sea grapes to get it, uh, that. Anyway. Oh, I'm trapped. Uh, anyway, that's three uh, Goliath beetles that I have. Uh, now, so that's enough to make a model when the next time Flick comes, which is great, because that would be really cool. Oh, I just scared something away. I don't know what that was. Wait, I'm going to take a video of it, then check my screenshots. Okay, they're saved. Okay, what was it? Oh, I can't see over my... Oh, oh, good. It's just a horn dynastid, it looks like. Oh, well, uh... So, yeah, it wasn't anything rare. Good. Now, let's, uh... Go along with our day. La -de -da. Oh, wait, I need to go back to... Get the... To drop off all the stuff. For, to, um, for my CJ... And... Flick Pit. Yeah, it's really messy. Oh, there's my message bottle. Excuse me. Excuse me, Freckles. I... Excuse me. I, I kind of need that. Oh. All right. Oh, well, uh, how about I drop a acorn barnacles? <laughs> just, just, they just splash. Anyway, message bottle. Scarecrow already have it, so I can drop it just for now. You know? Anyway. I hope eventually I can get diving creatures models. Because those would be, uh, those would be pretty epic. Anyway, I want the, this guy to be here. Along with the, cyclo the cyclometer stag, because it's also rare. Along with this guy, and, um, how about for now we put, uh, you know what, I'm gonna nickname uh, this guy Crackle, cause he can crack the, I mean, the, my extra guy Crackle, cause he can crack the tank. I was gonna put him down, but first, uh, I need to catch that fish. And putting things down scare away fish. Anyway, this is rare. Dorado, worth 15,000 bells, and I just got a model today, so... Yeah, that's, uh, so I don't need to save it, so I can get the money. Anyway. Whoa, I just heard a huge sound. Did you hear that? Like, that was a huge sound, and I scared it away. Oh, well, it was probably nothing, right? Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Probably. Probably just, like, a big... Cyc not cyclone, just big like saw stag or something like that. that isn't rare. Anyway, yeah. I've just been getting lucky today. I got cr new creatures, a lot of them. I'm gonna keep the abalone just in case I need an abalone. You know, I also want to keep the abalone. Me neither. Anyway, that looks like everything that I want to sell. Yep. Okay, so 40,000 bells. That's pretty good. Anyway, uh, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, and I also got a lot of hybrids. That's what I was gonna say. I got really lucky because I got a lot of hybrids.
anyway, yeah. I'm going to go to the other beach to see if there are any uh, stick bugs over there. And then I think I should call it a day. Oh. Look, there's another bug. There's a bug in my graveyard. Oh, he's standing on my centipede. Get off my centipede. Bug. Tiger beetle. All right, I've been forgetting to do my village, to get my villager crafting. But how about I do that now? But first, I gotta check for the stick insect, of course, because I wouldn't want it to like despawn while I go in the house if like there is one right now. There is a an occurring stick insect. Yeah. I should be collecting the fossils even though I don't have everyone. I, even, I mean, even though I have everyone, uh, but I don't want to. I, I'm taking a break from fossils, you know? You know that feeling after you've done something for a really long time, you just gotta take a break from it? There's a c evening cicada over there, and another one over there. Yeah, no stick insects. No, uh, cicada shells. Wait, is that... No, no cicada shells. Let's see, is it goose crafting? Or is it cloth? I'm, I'm gonna go in plides. Because he seems to be crafting a lot. So I shouldn't, I, I, I'm gonna make an assumption that he's gonna be the one crafting today. Or not. Or not. Anyway, Goose, Goose, don't let me down, Goose. Don't let me get down. Don't let me down. Don't. Oh, bubbles? It's Naden? No. Hopefully it's bubbles. Otherwise, I'd have to go to the other areas of the island. Because not all my villagers' houses are here. Please say it's bubbles. Come on, bubbles. Craft, 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 craft. Yeah! Okay, well, whatever. You're just going to talk about mad loves and mad loves and love or whatever it is. And I don't want to hear it. A cherry rug. Mad loves and love. Yeah, I don't care about that. It sounds dumb. <laughs> Which movie? You're, I, I already know. I mean, yeah? Don't give it to me! I don't want it! I don't need it! It's like... I, 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 I always say this, but they don't... They don't need to give you the DIY every time. Like, you don't... You're... Like... They give you an op... They only give you an option if you haven't gotten it yet. Which is really dumb. I should give you an option both times. Anyway, any sick insects over here? Oh, wait, that's a sick insect. Right there. You see it? Stick, stick, sticky. It's a sticky stick. Okay, don't want to miss this. Got it. Yes! I caught a walking stick. Check out its walking stick. Um, what? Look, these are jokes, okay? Um, okay? Uh, yeah. Ooh, look at that! Walking stick. Oh wow, look at that little time zone. I guess it's like, is it like the same as the evening cicada? 
Yeah, it's the same as like the the evening's okay to like it. Oh, just look at it. Just look at that walking stick. And look at that huge roll of creatures. Um uh now like we're Oh right, I, I can uh Uh scratch it off the list anyway, uh no, all oh, that we're missing for... Oh, right, I forgot to scratch off the ocean sunfish when we caught that. So now all that we're missing is blue weevil beetle, cicada shell, giant stag, golden stag, scare, scare beetle, giant isopod, giga giant clam, and horseshoe crab, which are all rare. <laughs> I'm, I think the uh, weevil beetle isn't the, as rare as the rest, but still rare. But the golden stag, cicada shell, and the diving ombres are scaring me a little. Because, like, I haven't seen one golden stag, one cicada shell, or, um, uh, well, I can't really see the one diving creature, because, like, you can't really see it. Anyway. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot I need to grab the actual creatures to donate them. Wait, I got I got to put this down to just look at it for a bit. Oh, and I can put ab I should put the abalone down too next to a tank breaker. Yeah, that's so cool how he breaks the tank. Yeah, the, that's abalone, uh, just whatever, I'm not gonna name them for now, but they're both going in my downstairs aquarium when I get it. Which I've almost got, by the way. Anyway, um, let's place it down next to the other guys. You know what, I think I'm gonna name the episode after Tank Breaker. Yeah, Tank Breaker, that's a good name. Wow, look at that, it breaks the tank. So cool. Anyway, um, oh, that was a giraffe stag. Oh God, that was like a really rare bug. Oh well, uh, like I scared away both a Hercules and a giraffe right now. Like I'm pretty sure one of the ones I scared earlier was a Hercules. Oh well, I'm not missing it or anything and it doesn't seem to be as rare as the golden stag, so yeah. You know what, I'm just gonna die for just a... I'm just gonna die for, uh... Like, like, like a few more minutes. I know this episode's getting long, but... Hey. You don't... You, it's, it's not my choice whether you... Oh, wow! Look at the balloon! I can see the balloon over the water. Anyway, that's a foil oyster. Anyway, look at that! There's a balloon! Okay, I'm gonna catch this and I'm gonna get the balloon. And then I should end the episode. Acorn barnacles! Anyway, yeah, let's uh, get that balloon. It's, it's cool now that we can properly look for balloons like in a really... I mean like we can look for balloons in a cool or alternative way. Slingshot in hand, and ready to pop ya! Pop! Three, two, one, pop! There. Now what do we have in this ding-dang present? Clay. Wow, uh, that's not a, that's not a really good present. Yeah. Yeah, I should end it now. I mean, we, we did some good stuff. We caught the walking stick. We caught a mantis shrimp. And we also caught an abalone. Like, it's a call. Like, like it was in the past game, and I've always been not sure if it was if it was pronounced abalone or abalone. Oh, I found out something about this bamboo thing. Like, you can read something about it. Like, you can read. Like, it has a bunch of messages, and you can read it. Let's see. Um seems to be a wish list with rad and sweet scribbled in the <laughs> margins um okay yeah 
Yeah, I should probably end the episode now. Yeah, we did, we did, we did good. We did good for this episode. It's time to end the episode. Let's take all of our donations. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy we caught a lot of cool new things. Leaving only wait. Eight things left. Like it seems like we've been caught we've caught so many new things and we're still missing eight. And they're all going to be like ridiculous. For example, the blue weevil well the blue weevil beetle isn't really ridiculous, but it is going to be pretty hard. And uh, the cicada shell is ridiculous. The cicada shell and the golden stag are ridiculously uh, rare. The giant stag and the scarab beetle, you have to stay up really late or get up really early. And then the gigas giant clam and the giant isopod are both really fast. And horseshoe crab, you have to stay up until night, until nine. <laughs> Oh dear, pardon me. Why, well, hello, Jack. Welcome to the Jack Down Museum. I'm a bit of marvelous. Why don't you guys donate? Okay, how about abalone first? Oh, 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 why, this is an abalone. <laughs> now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your abalone? Yes, please tell me. And that is not baloney. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. My feathers, but the abalone is a most deceptive sea snail. What, what? Oh, it's a sea snail? After seeing its dull brown shell from the outside, one would think it quite plain. But take a gander inside, and you'll see that the abalone's home is a shimmering beauty to behold. What? The inner layer of the shell is made of nacre, or mother of pearl, and who? what a dazzling iridescent hue. Let this be a lesson. You mustn't judge a sneeze, sea snail by the outside of its shell. Judge it by the inside of its shell instead. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. No rest short all the nation of slaves of timely panic. I'm like that. Is there anything else I can help you yeah. with? Yeah. Marvelous. Would you That's like to uh, donate? Walking stick. Take a walking stick. What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me! I see. In that case, um, the walking stick looks just like a twig, does it not? Oh, it even has knots, like a real twig would. These bashful mugs mimic plants in this way to hide from predators. A noble goal, you might say, but though the deceptive wretches fool some, they do not fool me! I see these bugs for what they are! Monsters, plain and simple, I say, did you know that walking sticks can grow to two feet long? Imagine running into one, surely I would faint. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. The bugs have been in my existence. Rep, 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 thing. We'll get the best of care here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Marvelous. Yes. What would you like gonna, to donate? Okay, it's time to donate the man of the hour, the mantis shrimp. The man of the hour, the the mantis of the hour. Oh, dear. Oh, this must be a mantis shrimp. Yes, it is. Now, am I to interest you in a few fascinating facts about your mantis shrimp? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Think carefully before you mock the mantis shrimp for its diminutive size. I warn you, it's itching for a fight. A pugilist through and through, this brightly hued fellow packs a punch unparalleled on land or sea. Not only are its forelimbs shaped like clubs and scythes, its arms are naturally spring-loaded too. Thus, the mantis shrimp's high-speed blows crack open crab and oyster shells with ease. And should you grab it with your hands, you might discover why it's called the thumb splitter, too. Oh. Oh, God. And there Wait, don't leave it there. there. Sure, have nightmares. Very my gratitude. Is there anything else I can help you with? Really good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. I know we looked for the walking stick for longer, but I, but the, the 
I mean, the show, like, the Tank Breaker is the name of the, ep like, Tank, Tank Cracker is the name of the episode, so we gotta end it next to the Mantis Shrimp. Ooh, now we get to see, like, it, uh, being relatively dark while still seeing all the critters here. Ooh. Anyway, I know where it's gonna be. It's gonna be next to the Walking Leaf. At least I think it is. I mean, like, it could be on a tree. That would also make sense. But yeah, I'm, it's probably gonna be in there. No, it's not in there. It's not in there? Wait a sec. It wasn't in there? Like, where could it be? Oh, there it is. Walking stick. Oh, it's, that's a ma He's a master of camouflage. I couldn't see him. And walking leaf there. Like, the walking leaf does a pretty horrible job at mimicking a leaf right now in the museum. I mean, like, he moves so, like, like, he just bobs up and down while the other leaves don't. But this guy, well, he moves, but <laughs> very less frequently. Hello, scorpion. How are you doing? Hello, tarantula. How are you doing? Sorry, I just had to say hi to them. Because they're my, they're my babies. They're my museum babies. Anyway. Now let us go over and look at the killer shrimp. Oh, it looks like Peaches is looking at a wasp. They say wasps won't sting you unless you're, they're uh, threatened, so I'm trying not to make sudden moves. That was just a sudden move, Peaches. We're both in trouble now. I just remembered that you're the one who caught this bug. It must be cool to see it on display here. No, it is terrifying. Anyway. Anyway, uh, I'm guessing that the, the mantis shrimp looks like a kind of camouflage guy that would like to camouflage into the coral. So I'm guessing it's going to be in the coral reef tank. I don't know where the abalone is going to be. It could be like in the winter tank. Oh, oh, or it could be right there. <laughs> wow, look at it. It's on the, it's on the wall. Seaweed, acorn barnacle, sea star, abalone. Look at that. Look at that abalone go. Anyway, there's the mantis shrimp. Oh, there it is. It's scarily close to the glass. I mean, like, uh, I wouldn't put it right there <laughs> if I if I were blathers. I wouldn't like put it like right next to the glass. Anyway, uh, spotted garden eel, mantis shrimp. Wow, look at that thing just sit there like it owns the place. Well, probably now it does own the place. And there's a slate pendulum urchin there too. Wow, this thing is like so cool. I just love the diving update. Like, it adds so much. Like, before this, like, basically, this. I'm pretty sure this tank was only, uh, like this the clownfish, the certain fish, the butterfly fish, the ribbon eel, and the Napoleon fish, which is good, but look at all of its at it all. Oh, it's add now. It's added like the tiger prawn, that sea anemone, sea slug, mussel. Also added the. Of course, these guys, spot a garden, you'll manage to strip and slate pencil origin, sea grapes, and uh, poi oyster. And let's added so much. Wait, do they go in? Like, do the spot of garden deals go in, like, when I go close? Doesn't look like it. Do they go in, like, when the. Oh, it looks like they're taking cover from the Napoleon fish. Anyway, I, I think I've dragged out this segment too long. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we will go after more creatures that we are we, that we have yet to catch. I think the next one I'm going to go for is the Gigas Giant Clam. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep being awesome.
Oh, this time I get to do a mantis shrimp impression. Oh yeah.